JB's America, Fort Cavazos, which is formerly known as Fort Hood, is struggling to put food on the table for the soldiers. Yeah, guys. Our soldiers, of all people, are active duty soldiers. It's already bad enough that they left our vets hanging in the streets. They're now uh, not even able to feed the soldiers. Fort Cavizos, formerly known as Fort Hood, has been struggling to put food on the table for soldiers for the last several months. According to the Military Times, the military installation in Texas is facing a shortage of army cooks. Hungry soldiers are often forced to drive for 30 minutes or more to get food? What? Really? I don't know. That's uh, It's in a town. I mean, it's in Killeen, Texas. There's a town there. I mean, granted, it's probably just a lot of fast food, right? Not things that, that are very nourishing for them or healthy. One of the Army's largest bases has been barely able to keep its food services up and running for months, according to soldiers stationed there and dining facilities scheduled reviewed by military.com. The situation at Fort Cavizos, Texas, formerly known as Fort Hood, has left some junior... Yeah, guys, they, they took away a Confederate name. Yeah, they, they, they're still doing it, guys. I'm telling you has left some junior and i'm telling you when we flip the white house and the, and the senate and the house we need to rename everything we gotta we gotta remove all the old like, hispanic names <laughs> san gabriel will be renamed to san smith right san antonio will be sam um i don't know john 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 carpenter yeah I'm telling you rename we rename everything though to to the uh to the uh american history right <laughs> I'm telling you, has left. This has left some junior enlisted with few options for meals as top officials on base struggle to juggle logistics while most of its cooks are on deployment. Missions. Wow, the cooks are on deployment. You know what that means? Missions or serving field training and other events. Yes, they renamed it. They renamed it from Fort Hood to Fort Cavazos uh, because Fort uh, Hood was Hood was a, a Confederate general. The base had only two of its 10 major dining options open every day for much of the summer, with three others open only during limited times. The closures forced many soldiers to drive long distances across base, sometimes for an hour, an hour round trip for meals just to get lunch, guys. Usually lunch is about an hour, is it not? For months, one, this is a quote, for months, one dining facility was open and was a more than 30 minute drive for my soldiers. All soldiers were going to that one. It's unmanageable during the workday. Wow. U.S. military is also facing a recruiting crisis. The woke U.S. military is focusing on providing TG surgeries and dealing with climate change amid a recruiting crisis. We're preparing, in quotes, it says here, we're preparing the military by trying to deal with the climate stuff, says JB. Yeah. He said that uh, on the Weather Channel. Yeah. That's their priority there, guys. Freaking awful. No good. Ah!